Hi and welcome. I'm going to talk to you today about um, a bit of a, a bit of a problem we've got in our supermarkets and I mentioned it in yesterday's video if you haven't watched that about the fat free foods and when the fats are taken out starches are put in and if you're pre-diabetic and some of us are even undiagnosed. That's really a problem in terms of spiking our blood sugar. And we can be so prone to diabetes type 2, which is a real problem that's going on today. And in my last few videos, I've been um, reaching out to people to say, I'm going to be working with people who want to reverse, who seriously want to reverse their type 2 diabetes. And I've got a few places left. And if you want to give me a call so we can see if you're a right fit, please link, um, link me in the description below so we can have a conversation and work out how we can work towards your reversing the type 2 diabetes. And it's absolutely possible. It really is. And it is scientifically proven, but we're not getting enough information about diet. We're treating it with medication which leads on to further complications. But this is also a great recipe I'm going to do, which is nut-free, dairy-free basil pesto. Now, I worked as a natural chef for a preschool, three months old to five years old, cooking for children with a plethora of allergies. And this was a really great, fresh favorite when I was making the pesto without nuts, without dairy. So that catered to a lot of children who were suffering with dairy allergies or nut intolerances, some pretty serious allergies who needed EpiPens. Now also, it's a great way to introduce healthy fats into your diet. And you know exactly what's going into this recipe. And believe me, it's really simple and it's a really delicious, fresh recipe. It also gets rid of the gluten. And because I'm gonna be using just uh, a courgette or, or if you call it zucchini, and I'm gonna be making it into an, um, a noodle and adding the pesto to it, which is great because you haven't got the starch either. So that's really good for people who've got gluten intolerances as well. So let's get started. I want to show you the ingredients that I've got today. And I was given a little gift actually from the nutcase. Um, it's a shop in Shepherd's Bush that actually sell nuts, seeds, quality berries. I've mentioned it before. And look what they've given me. This wonderful, rich, dark, organic cold press olive oil from their farm. Now, they're going to be harvesting a fresh batch in November, and I can't wait to get my hands on their farm-pressed olive oil. So I'm going to be using this in our dish today. I've also got um, a generous handful of fresh basil leaves, one courgette, a half a cup of sesame seeds, and I'm going to be using one teaspoon of pink salt, but you can use sea salt, and I'm going to be using a drizzle of water. And that is all you really need. You don't need to overdo it. I find when you're cooking with fresh, you know, raw foods, you really don't need a lot of seasoning. You want to get the taste of the fresh basil coming through. You don't want to drown it too much with a bit of garlic. And of course, there's no cheese in it, but you get this really fresh, delicious type pesto. And I'm going to show you how. So first of all, actually, I'm going to start with actually just give, doing the noodles. And I've got this handy little gadget here, if you can see, which helps to just give me a really good even noodle. Just by, It's like a pencil sharpener. It's brilliant. It's really cheap and inexpensive. I think this one cost me something like five pounds if that I think it was just under five pounds guys um if I can find the link I'm definitely going to put the description of the link for you so you can find it yourself and I'm just gonna create the noodles there look at that really quick really easy zoodles I 
I used to have a kind of a, what I call a contraption that you kind of stuck the, um, the courgette in the middle, clamped it together like a vice and turned a wheel, which was absolutely ridiculous. It was huge, took up a lot of space in my kitchen and it really wasn't that good. This has been, and that cost me something like 35 pounds. That was really, you know, just com in comparison to this, which is a lot quicker, less fuss. And there you are, look. Here are my zoodles. Nice, even zoodles. And I keep the skin on mine. You want to keep all the fiber in your food, which is also great for diabetic sufferers to have all the fiber left in the food. Right, so that's the zoodles. I'm gonna put that aside. Now we're gonna start with putting together our pesto. Now I've got a, a cup of olive oil. We're not gonna use a whole cup. <laughs> I'm gonna use half a cup of the olive oil. I'm going to put in my sesame seeds, which is a half cup, teaspoon of salt, and my basil, which is a generous handful. If you want to do more, you can you know, fill it up with basil so you've got a nice um, batch to keep in the fridge. I'm just gonna make a small portion. We're gonna start with blending this first of all before adding the water, let's see. eyeball this guys you can decide what sort of consistency you want but I'm really happy with this as you can see I'm going to pour it over my zoodles now I really didn't even need the water look how thick that is and look how finely it's actually blended out as well this smells so fresh and it's really just as simple as that All I'm going to do is toss that together now. And if you get a really good quality olive oil, you're going to get the best flavor. And I'm really looking forward to tasting this because this is fresh off their, their family farm at the Nutcase, Shepherd's Bush, West 12. If you haven't been there, guys, go and have a look at the produce that they've got there. And they've even got the sesame seeds as well. Right, I think that's nicely mixed. Right, now I'm going to just plate it up. So you can see what I'm doing there. Grab my zoodles. And that just makes, you know, you can, this is just a meal on its own. It really is. And I'm just gonna pop my fresh basil on the top there just to make it look a little bit delicious, which it is anyway. And that's it guys, can you believe how quickly that was put together and making simple pesto with fresh ingredients. 
and it's got no additives, no preservatives. Um, it's low fat anyway. Olive oil, actually olive oil is, you know, it's a good fat. It's a half healthy fat. And with diabetes and a lot of problems with stroke and heart disease now on the increase, because you're more prone to heart disease being diabetic, this is excellent for you to put together as a meal. This is something you can take to work, um, put in your lunch box, and you, that's it, voila, with a little bit of salad. I'm gonna give this the taste test. Look at that lovely noodles. <laughs> really long noodles. Let's try and cut that off. <laughs> if you're doing this for children, chop it up a little bit. <laughs> but I love this bit, look. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, guys, that is just so good. And with the salad, I'm just going to show you what I've done. I've just got some baby gem, some rainbow colored cherry tomatoes, and I grated over a little bit of um, butternut squash and some sliced red onion. And I'll drizzle that with a bit of lemon and herb dressing. And I've actually done a recipe with the lemon and herb dressing in my previous videos where you'll find detox meal ideas from days one to nine. And then I, on the 10th day, give a whole 50 different meal ideas all together. And these are real foods. These are foods that are conducive for your well-being. You can detox over raw foods in the abundance months during the spring, summertime, and every spring I detox on raw food. And this is one of my favorites. And it's so easy to do and it's quite filling. And one of the things I love to do as well is nettle, clove and cinnamon tea. It's a really great antioxidant rich and mineral dense tea. Now the clove, the cinnamon, add the sweetness to this um, tea and the nettle, I've got the mixture here. Look how green that is. And the nettle is full of minerals. It's got so many, it's got calcium, it's got iron, it's got phosphorus, it's got manganese. It's, so, it's full of A, K, A, C and vitamin K amongst other amino acids. In fact, it contains all of the, the amino acids that you need. So here's the mixture. And if you want to find where to get the nettle, clove and cinnamon, this is a good diabetic tea. It's not got the sugar, but the sweetness from the cinnamon mixed with the um, clove is absolutely delicious. It's been described as a hug in a mug because I remember doing a taste test um, at a, a community center where they had a tea afternoon and several other places where they have get togethers and coffee mornings and people really, <laughs> they plumbed for the nettle, clove and cinnamon, even over the sorrel, which is a lovely berry, fresh flavor taste. And that's really good for people who are suffering with high blood pressure. I've been told by people who've used it, they can, one person said they could actually feel their blood pressure going down. I'll link the sorrel down below as well. But this is a really great tea, a really good green tea that you can have at home and enjoy. And when you're eating, have your drinks, say, 10 minutes before you have a meal, maybe half an hour to an hour later, have a nice warm drink, which is good for your digestive system. Now, I'm going to be away tomorrow and the third. It's the bank holiday weekend but I've been busy filming behind the scenes to bring you two videos where you can see me preparing some lovely dishes. So tune in and you'll get some more recipes and I'll be back again after the bank holiday. Thank you for watching and see you again.